The Core 45 here in MW3 is often overlooked because honestly the Renettis are super broken in MW3 and I even agree with it. The way that you can build the Renettis is absolutely busted. But the thing that sets the Core 45 apart is the conversion kit unlockable. I know the Renetti has one as well, but the conversion kit on the Core 45 is just way much better, or way more better, I should say, than the conversion kit on the Renetti. And honestly, even with the conversion kits both on each gun, the Core 45 absolutely slaps. And it's a super fun conversion kit to use as well. And I'm pretty sure it's a, or I'm super glad they added in conversion kits because there are super innovative ideas that they do. And honestly, changing this pistol into like a semi-auto S SMG is absolutely absurd and super fun so kudos to sledgehammer for that but honestly the way that you can build this clang with the conversion kit on is absolutely crazy so let's go rambling and you're right in the class setup i'll start off with the conversion kit first because obviously this is the most important part of the entire class setup obviously the conversion kit this allows for tax stance so because it kind of turns it into more of a smg kind of it just kind of evolves the gunsmith uh, if you guys remember the X13 auto, there was like a barrel attachment that would extend the gunsmith allowing you to add in more attachments, but this kind of works in the same way. But this also improves the fire rate, bullet velocity and range, as well as the aiming out its way. Again, it basically kind of turns it into an SMG in a way. Uh, it's still, you still have to shoot it like semi-auto, but it's just super, super fast. And again, it's just super fun to use. Now, moving on to, I'll go, I'll go with the stock because if you do not have the conversion kit on, you cannot run the stock. Now, this improves the gun control as well as the recall control. Now, with that fast fire rate, again, like most weapons, comes a lot more recall. And obviously, it is a pistol, so there's not much on a recall on a pistol, nonetheless. But with the conversion kit, you definitely want to run the stock to combat the recoil. We get a negative 17% bonus in the recoil gun kick, and then a negative 12 and negative 13% in the horizontal and vertical recoil controls, respectively, while barely losing any handling, so very good there. Now, for the optic, I am on the slate reflector. Uh, the iron sights with this thing, or with the conversion kit, I should say, is they aren't very good, and I honestly wouldn't run them either way. So, I go with the slate reflector. You don't really have too many options to choose from, but... Oh, maybe you do. Dude, when I was throwing this on earlier, it literally only had, like, six attachments, but... I'm on the start reflector, but use whatever optic you are, whatever you want. For the muzzle, I'm in the DZS open comp, which is a horizontal recoil, vertical recoil, as well as gun kick control. This thing will make an absolute laser so that you can compete in those medium ranges. I would definitely stay away from the medium ranges, but uh, obviously when you do, you'll just be able to beam your opponents either way. We get massive values here for the recoil control bonuses here as well. Negative 15% in the recoil gun kick, negative 20% in the horizontal recoil, and then a negative 15% in the vertical recoil. So again, absolutely massive values. Of course, we do lose a lot of ADS speed, but definitely worth it. And finally, for the magazine on the 40 round mag, uh, again, this thing's fire rate is basically uh, increased by a third. So you definitely want to throw on a big mag size, especially if we're running on like any of the small maps, small map mosh fit. Uh, this gameplay was on Stash House. So it's very good for Shimmit and Stash House. Uh, I haven't played it on Rust. It's probably still pretty good on meat as well, but 40 around mag nonetheless. But yeah, that's the best Core 45 class setup here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Got you in double MG gameplay. We're on one of the streaks. I went on a 75 gun streak. So if you guys do enjoy, wish you guys sub like. I want to see more content online. I'll subscribe button as well. See you guys in the gameplay. Peace. All right, all right, all right. We got some hard point here today on Stash House. I played this map like once, so should be a little bit interesting here. I know it's really small. It's almost like shit. I mean, it basically is shipment, but with more structures, I guess you could say. Get grief. This is going to be it's very, very, very sketchy. need ammo what is this guy just afk just sitting oh my. that's wild what's that guy doing Advanced UAV is going to go crazy on this map. I can already sniff it. It's like 
Get one kill and then instantly push back. If you even know where to push back. Oh my gosh, he did get that nade off. <laughs> Another Overwatch hero. I need ammo. I kind of just want to camp until like they spawn right on me or something. Mm. Uh. Literally no idea. Anyone back here? I have no idea where to go. There's the advanced. Let's see how crazy we can actually get going. They're all camping in a pool house. I guess you could call this a pool house. I don't really know what else you'd call it. I only have 31 kills? That's how slow I've been playing? That's horrible. Sorry, I gotta pull up the shotgun. I had no idea. I need ammo. I'm cooking my advanced UAV time for an ammo box. Four. Hmm. Not ideal. I barely have any ammo. I'm gonna have to. It's kind of toxic that I have to use a shotgun, but chat, you guys can see that I have. Nearly zero ammo. Well, we got the MGB with the pistol kill, so hopefully that'll count. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. We threw it on our ammo box right next to our other one. This map is chaos, but it's a lot more controlled chaos, I could say. It's not horrible. Oh. Who's shooting at me? Bang. Leave some kills for the rest of us, teammate. You absolutely burn through ammo in this game. Or not in this game. With this gun. With the conversion kit. This is my, my third ammo box, this single life already. I don't know how that guy's not dead. Oh. bad boy sorry to those that did not want to see me using a shotgun but dude my gun is actually not reloading whenever I press square or hold square what in the world Area. 
What the? What in the world? More ammo. We're on a 63 right now. That's equivalent to a double. Hypothetically speaking. Actually, not hypothetically speaking. Literal speaking. I don't know how that, that guy's been AFK this entire game and somehow is not kicked, by the way. I don't even know how that's possible. Reload. Rank up. Uh 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 uh. Seventy four. I cannot imagine going on a hundred kill streak this match. I don't even know what my PB is. I forgot. Oh, what the? Dead. That guy just literally did not want to die. Died on a 75 streak, by the way, Chad. That's nuts. Same guy. Never mind. The other guy was the pace setter guy, wasn't it? I just robbed that kill from the guy's RGL. Holy. Good hard point time on my teammates as well. What in the what in the dude? Yeah, the closet. What's happening? I actually think he's gonna snipe me. I that guy does not die. In all honesty, honesty, there's that guy literally does not die. I'll toss up an Overwatch Hilo for some more kills. Don't mind if I do. What's that clown doing? Well, we ran out of ammo, so it's shotgun time. Sorry, not sorry. We still only have seven bullets. Wait, this could be a double. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait. There it is. There it is. The double MGB. With the shotgun and pistol combo. Sorry, not sorry. We had to do it. Give me that. Give me that, girl. <laughs> Dude, that guy on the bottom of the leaderboard was literally AFK the entire game and somehow lasted the entire game without getting kicked. We have secured the field. Mission accomplished. I don't know how that's possible. 133 and 4 MGB with the core 45, baby.